there's this piece that you said that I'm interested in. It was a, a bit back and you were talking about using all of these listening skills. Yes. For, for partnership, right. For one-on-ones and in groups, but also even listening to an audience. And I'd love to just talk more about that. Cause I'm sure people are like, who, what do you mean listening to an audience? If I'm on stage, you are listening to me, right? Yeah. So there's, Several things here. Uh, first of all, you know, way back originally, the art of public speaking was, you know, all about the sage on a stage. That, that's that's the phrase that that has been used. The sage on a stage, which is like I'm the big expert. You have to listen to me. So everybody, sit down and shut up. So, you know, that may have worked in another time and era, but today, you know, audiences want more uh, connection and more closeness to the speaker and so the dynamics are just different. Also, people are distracted by these things, right? Mm -hmm. So if they sense any kind of, you know, uh, condescension from a speaker, they're checking out. Physically, they may be still sitting there, but mentally they're somewhere else. How do you listen to an audience? Uh, You listen with your eyes, you observe them, you see what is the reaction? I just told a story, what's the reaction? Are people looking at me? Are they still paying attention? Are they looking at their phone or their device? Are they looking to the exit, right? The body language of your audience speaks volumes. Um, You can also listen to the conversation on social media of either your specific audience or the types of people that are gonna be in your audience prior to your speech. So Mm -hmm. you're giving a big speech or presentation at a conference, let's say, Look at the chatter on social media. Look at what people are talking about in the forum. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of big conferences have forums that are dedicated to like networking and discussion groups and things like that. So you can see what is on their minds. Mm-hmm. Uh, and thus, you can adjust your content accordingly, right? So that's listening. It's, may not, it's not um, synchronous. It's asynchronous, right? Because you're listening before you're actually getting on stage. But it's listening nonetheless. And then a third thing that I'll point out is um, Q&A and interaction live with the audience. So something that we recommend a lot is to ask the audience for questions or for input. You can do this with various tools like Slido, Mentimeter, uh, which I'll put the links to in the description of this video. But uh, those are polling tools where people can actually access the poll on their device live in real time, you can ask a question and people can immediately give their feedback on the polling question. And then you can project the answers on the big screen uh, live. And so that becomes a kind of dialogue that you're having with your audience. And even if you're not going to use technology like that, you can still, you know, reach out to people directly if it's a smaller audience, and you know, some people by name, you know, hey, Shannon, what do you think about that? This is something we talked mm-hmm. about last week or a few weeks ago. I know you wanted to hear more about XYZ project. Any thoughts on that or any questions or comments, right? And then it becomes a more interesting and engaging discussion rather than just me by myself speaking in a monologue for the full 20 minutes. 